All right, these guys got a hold of me, I think, on Facebook. Or they may have emailed me off my channel, but today we're checking out a remotely resettable target system. So this is basically going to give you 10 target sheets. When you press a button, the one you're shooting at flips down, and the next one flips up. So you can shoot all day. You don't have to walk back and forth to your target. Let me just read the description because it kind of says it better than I can. Do you like sports shooting? Do you like hunting? Are you IPCS professionals? Are you a range owner? We're here to help. Bush's Land Incorporated was founded with a strong passion for shooting sports in Ontario, Canada. And the journey began in 2019 when they began to develop the remotely resettable target system. This novel target system is perfect for indoor-outdoor target shooting activities and can save participants lots of time from walking back and forth to change the target papers. Commercial shooting ranges can also benefit as the system will save members practicing time by limiting replacing targets and increase your shooting range capacity. Additionally, the target system's versatile nature allows for both static and pump-up target usage for training purposes. It says the products they offer are suitable for shooting with a variety of firearms, including, but not limited to, air guns, pistols, and rifles with different calibers. The unique remotely resettable target system is easy to set up, durable, and versatile. Shooting sports are already lots of fun, but at Bush's Land, they strive to make it even more enjoyable. Yeah, I definitely, I ran this thing through the paces. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put it together, how it works, and this is definitely robust, nice piece of machinery, finished just 100%. Very smooth edges, everything just looks perfect on it. And the plastic that they make it out of is super strong, but also a little bit flexible. So once you set it up, you can just pop the legs in and out to bring it inside, and then you can stick it back on your stand, no problem. For more information on this and other items that they sell, just shoot over to bushesland.com, and they'll have this target system for sale there as well. There's the stand that has the battery built in and all the electronics, and then you have this rack that holds your actual targets. So this rack right here is super sturdy. It's all put together. You're just going to place this right inside the cradle of the stand. Those little metal hooks are going to snap into place. It might be smart to put your cards on first, but I had no problem putting them on after I got it together. This thing has heavy-duty coil springs, high-quality rubber bumpers, nice metal clips, and you'll see how all this works in a second. Really an awesome machine, though. So once this is put together, those springs are going to do all the work. So you got your stand right here. Like I said, the battery's inside there. And these hooks on each side are going to hold basically, I guess, your trigger panel and then your actual target panel in place. And there's a little thing that's going to advance down that flat bar, I guess you'd call it, with the teeth on the front. And every time you hit your button back at your target stand, it's going to advance one notch, revealing the next target. And then it puts the target you were just shooting, it puts it away. <laughs> so that's cool too. Real quick though, here's a look at the rod that's going to shoot in and out each time you advance your target. Right there, that's the antenna for your remote control. Then if you look inside here, there's actually a door that snaps on here and flips closed. But that's your on and off button in there, as well as your charging port. So you hook a couple alligators up and that's how you charge this bad boy. So right there, we got the two cradles on each side. You're gonna take the whole top unit and just rest it in like that. The front clips are gonna lock into place. Like I said, it might be smart to put your target boards on before you do this step. But if you look at the end right there, you actually want to push that so that it's even on both sides. But this is pretty much how it looks. I was definitely impressed with how this thing was put together and how it works. Wait till you guys see though, when this thing goes off, it's definitely thrilling. This little piece fell off when I was screwing around. So you notice that it's on one side. I went ahead and inserted it into the other side and then it uh, fit perfectly. I'm gonna to wanna to push that end in a little bit so you got both ends are even and then it comes with two caps and there's actually two screws put them on there and there's gonna be two screws you screw those in and you'll be all set the only other thing you might do is put the door actually I have it on the battery compartment right there snap that door on there and you're done so I went ahead and took some 2x4s and some sawhorses super easy just uh, put some screws there to hold it in and I made sure that it was sticking up about an inch past the target and boom, we're all protected and ready to rock and roll. Easy as that. So if you wanted to get fancy, you could make yourself a metal barrier and a stand, but, but this took me maybe 10 minutes and it's going to work awesome. In addition, you guys will see at the end, I actually took this off the sawhorse, put a little piece on back and then I had a little box that I could put 
on the ground or anywhere I wanted. By the way, there's those two screws that hold the top part in. And those are your wing nuts that you're going to put your cards on with. You've seen the charger already. Just hook those up to there. And if it doesn't work at first, you may have to charge it for like a whole day. If the battery's been sitting. In any case though, just email them at busheslam.com if you need any help. The remote is going to take a 9 volt battery, put in that way with the uh, big end going on the right, I guess you'd say. I was able to put my target cards in like this. It wasn't too hard, but they have pre-cut holes and they fit perfectly in there like that. If you ever need to unhook these, like when you're doing your target cards, you just reach under there and with your finger, you can manually make these pop up and down. You take these, I'm just going to call them charging panels, and you lock them back like that. And then you're just going to leave the front ones where they're at. But there's 10 of those, so you just snap them all in place. And once you do that, oh, by the way, there's uh, my screws I put in there. It held that thing in firmly, but I was still able to snap it in and out. So these are all ready to spring. And then I screwed them in just so they're barely starting to dent the plastic right there. One very important thing to remember is this has an on off switch. So N is on, F is off. You gotta remember to turn that off when you're done shooting or else you'll come back and this will be dead obviously. And over here you can see I, I set all my 10 little guys down right there. So if we look down here, this that's the remote control side on that side. Over here, this is the side that's gonna come like this and advance your thing through the motor that's inside. So this piece right here, I guess you would call it your trigger. So in that position right there, it's unlocked. That is locked. So what you wanna do is unlock it and then you wanna slide it all the way down gently to the very end right there, the end that has a remote control on it, right there. Once it's at the remote control end, we're gonna lock it back into place. Now it's got hold of those teeth, and we just hit that on button, and we are ready to rock and roll. Check this out. Oh, that is awesome. So I got 10 of these. So it drops the one I just shot and it lifts up the next one. I love it. Obviously this is super fun without even shooting it. And on the last one, boom, it just disappears. You just click down all your loading levers, unlock your little doodad, bring them over here to the left side, lock them back up, and you're ready to rock and roll. It's definitely one of the coolest contraptions I've ever seen, and I think really useful for a lot of people too, so if this is something that could benefit you, just shoot over to bushesland.com, there's a link in the description. So when you're done, you do have to reach in there, remember to turn your unit off, and remember to turn your remote control off as well, right there like that. So if for some reason you didn't charge your battery and you still want to use this unit, you can hook any 12 volt DC power source up to it. And that includes a LiPo battery like I have here from my Barra 400E. Whoa, that's crazy. Or you can use a car battery, any 12 volt. And you just hook it with the alligator clips right up to those charging leads right there. There's a little box I made. I pretty much just took it off the sawhorses and put a stabilizer piece on the back and then I got something I could transport anywhere I want. All right, guys and gals, that's it for me on this one. Next week, we'll be back at you with one of the many brand new release air guns that I got stacked up here. So once again, there'll be a link in the description if you want to buy this auto reset target system. All right, everybody. Thanks again for tuning in. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.